perspective on your rookie season, uh, everything included, how would you summarize things? Um, I think it was overall a good year. You know, um, we did better than we did last year. Um, for me, obviously, I wanted to play more games, but um, you know, I thought I had some good games, some bad games, and just kind of learn from it and move on. So I'm looking forward to the summer and the next year. How's your knee feel at this point? I'm just getting better. Still a little bit sore, but I get on the court now. I can shoot, move around, so that's good. And I'm um, just waiting for it to go away so I can go after it 100%. What did you take away most from Magic and Rob and Luca and what you, the conversation you just had and how that built into all the conversations you've had throughout the season? Um, basically, it's just the biggest summer of my life. You know, um, trying to transition now from you know rookie year to pretty much sophomore year. So just looking forward to it, ready to put in the work and get after it. Do you have to get stronger? Uh, most definitely. You know, like I said, I want to play 82 games next year. Um, I think this year I played 50, 52. So, you know, definitely got to come from the weight room and just get my body ready and uh, be ready to go. Hey, Zoe, when they tell you that uh, that this is the biggest summer of your life, is that daunting at all? Like, are you, do you have to take a, a little bit of extra, I don't know, seriousness when it comes to something like that? Um, I think it's exciting. You know, I'm only 20 years old. Um, you know, for some of my magic and Rob to tell me that, you know, it's pretty much telling me, you know, they believe in me. And, you know, if I put the work in, you know, I'm going to see success on the way on the other side. So just got to listen to them and, you know, take care of what I have to take care of. Lonzo, was there a, a lot that you learned even when you weren't on the court? So you obviously, you know, it's not ideal to go through all those injuries, but there was, was there still a lot of learning process from sitting on the bench? Um, I mean, we sit on the bench, look at the game a different way. Um, it's because you see everything. You know, when you're out there, you're kind of worried about, you know, your team and getting the win and stuff. But, when you're on the bench, you see literally everything, you know, the coaches, the fans, the refs. So um, you definitely can learn, you know, sitting out. Lonzo, I'm sure you know the numbers, but you ended the season shooting 30% from three and 36% um, overall. Um, did did Magic and Rob and Luke, did they, what did they have to say to you about, about your, your shooting? And do you, what do you feel like you need to do to improve that shot? Um, to shoot it with confidence for one, and then for two, just keep putting the work in. You know, don't, don't change the form of nothing. I've been shooting like that my whole life, so. They said they're fine with it. Um, just make sure I get the reps up. Yeah, just, you know, perfect it pretty much. Um, you know, you want to be a good shooter, you got to shoot. And then, you know, start making them and then translate it to the game. Lonzo, uh, what else do you want to add to your game besides besides getting stronger? Um, what, uh, what other aspects are you going to work on this summer? What will you do exactly? Um, Probably the main focus is scoring, you know, from all levels, uh, especially off the pick and roll, you know, getting in the paint. Um, I thought if I get that to my game, that would help a lot. And um, floaters, pull-ups, you know, stuff of that nature. Yeah, Alonzo, after January, your father was pretty quiet, publicly didn't say anything. Did you say anything to him? Did you ask him to be quiet? Nope. I never tell him any of that. Um, he pretty much does what he does. I do what I do. Year is all me. It's done now. On to the next one. Alonzo, what was different about the season than maybe you expected? What was easier? What was harder along the way? Um, I mean, people say it's a long season, but you really don't know the NBA season until you go through it. So that was my first time. I thought I have a good taste of, you know, what it's all about now, um, even though I didn't play every game. But um, just all the traveling, you know, all the pre preparation going into the game and stuff, and um, just the way your, your mind has to be, you know, play 82 games and just compete every night. Was it easier on defense, or were you able to make a bigger def impact on defense maybe than you expected you would? No, I know I can play defense. Um, it's all about just heart. Hey, Zoe, when you were drafted, you said you were most excited to play with B.I. With the whole season of doing that, what, how was that experience? Oh, it was great. You know, Brandon, I felt, making a huge jump from, you know, what, what he was doing last year to, um, to what he's doing now. So. You know, he's uh, motivation for me to show, you know, how much the summer can help. Um, Julius Randle as well. But, um, yeah, I love playing with B.I. Lonzo, you know, the Lakers are obviously going to try and make a run at um, some big free agents this summer. What do you think you, Kuz, Ingram, the young core, have shown potential free agents, um, what you guys are capable of doing and, and moving forward, what you might be able to do with a max type of guy? Mm -hmm. um, I think we just showed the future is bright. And uh, for us three guys, you know, Jay Hart as well, um, we just got to get as good as we can, no matter whoever they bring in. You know, he's ready to play with whoever they bring in and 
come together and go as far as we can. Lonzo, when you evaluate Kuzma and Hart and thinking about you guys are going to be here on those rookie deals and then Ingram and, and we'll see what happens with the rest of the young roster, where do you see you guys fitting as a unit and how do you think you can uh, continue to grow as you move forward? Um, well, this was our first year together and I thought we did pretty good, you know, for the time we were healthy and, you know, after we kind of got the hang of things. But um, like I said, the future is going to be bright, you know, as we keep working, keep staying together and just keep building chemistry and our skills at the same time. So. Um, you know, we were in here last summer all together, so we're going to be in here this summer again together, so just hopefully we can take off. Lonzo, well, I know it's early, but um, given the games you missed and with Brandon and uh, Josh Hart missing some games, have you guys talked about the possibility of going to summer league and just being all as a unit to us to get more reps and heading into next season? Um, we have not talked about summer league yet. Um, you know, whatever. You know, Magic Rob and Luke decide for us. That's what we're going to do. Yeah. One more time. They want me to play out play. Lonzo, we talked about the importance of playing 82 games. How much of that is learning how to play with aches and pains and play through discomfort? Are you learning that? Was that something you needed to learn at all? Um, yeah, I don't think anybody can go through the whole season 100%. You know, sometimes you're going to play with something. Um, you just got to go through it. And, um, go out there and play. Are you going to be following along? Like, are you excited to see what happens this summer in terms of, like, who they, who they get, 